All right, so as we get new buses, and, and with the, the prominence of safety on everybody's mind, some of the things that the industry has done, and also um, you know, things we're looking at, is uh, operator visibility. Okay, on we'll be showing you some pictures here in a moment, but the outer ribs of the windshield are getting narrower, so it, that you don't have that obstruction or as much obstruction of looking that way. The windshield. If it's a dual windshield, so two pieces of glass, you've got a thinner strip in the middle that's holding that in uh, in place. In some cases, they've gone to a complete full windshield um, to help visibility, so you don't have any split at all. Um, so the operator ergonomics, things that we that improve pretty consistently, is better adjusting operator seats better adjusting steering columns. So you get more adjustment, more comfort. It's, it's, it suits more operators than, than um, fewer operators. And we get, you know, uh, they're sitting there sometimes eight hours more a day. You know, so trying to make it as comfortable as possible for them is, is our goal. Um, mirrors with LED turn signals. Is getting, I mean, it's getting big in the industry. Um, and then uh, door lights, cornering lights on our last fleet of buses purchased three years ago. We That was our first time with cornering lights that help operators see as they go around the corner, visualize where the corner is in relationship to their tires. Uh, it saves us a lot of damaged tires, too. Um, so non slip floors, we're always looking at what's out there the best and the greatest. Um, and then under evaluation, Neil alluded to a little while ago, was our pedestrian warning system that we're checking out uh, varying systems, see if we can find something that works for us. So bus procurements. Um, we're going to be coming to you next month with two contracts for consideration. Okay, one is going to be for a five-year, 211 bus procurement. It'll be 51 buses in the first year, and then 40 buses a year. We're going to try to follow our plan. Uh, in addition to that, the second contract is for four hybrid buses. We received a grant in 2010 to purchase these, and we're ready to do so. Um, if these two contracts are approved, we'll be going to looking at bus deliveries beginning in the summer of 2012, maybe as early as the spring of 2012. Um, and then later in 2012, we'll come back to you with a separate solicitation for some 30-foot buses. Every bus here will be a 40-foot configuration. So cost of a new bus. You know, everybody would be interested in that. So over the five years for the diesel buses, um, 51 in the first year, is the total is 21 million, 21.8 million. 426,000 bus makes it a whole lot easier to, to, to visualize. Okay, and for the four hybrid buses, they're going to be 625,000 piece. So about 200,000 more. All right, these are some pictures we're going to run through here that are some of the buses that are offered currently in the North American market. This happens to be an Orion bus. A Gilly bus and a new fire bus. They look a lot different than the buses that we're running today. You know, got a little more, a little more curve to them. Don't look so much like a bread box on wheels. <laughs> so, um, accessibility improvements. One of the things the industry is doing is they're reducing the slope of the ramps. So a low floor bus is a ramp rather than a, a lift, and, and they're changing the angle from a, a one to four ratio to a one to six, reducing that down. It makes it easier to board. Um, and we, we, when we first saw these demonstrated, we were excited. That's a, that's a huge step in the industry of taking that action. Um, we're looking at improved uh, wheelchair securement hardware. Um, our transportation. Uh, training department has looked at this, um, and we're, we believe that this one is state of the art. 
um, the one we're looking at. It's, it's more user friendly for the operator. It's more conducive to the passenger, um, less intrusion on them to get them secure. So, and then one of the other things that was brought up to us is touch strips for, for stop requests in the priority seating areas. Didn't give it a thought, but that, you know, a lot of people have difficulty reaching that pull cord. Having a push strip right there close to the hand, you know, they can request their stop. Okay, so EPA regulations for emissions. EPA came out with new, new emission standards in 2010. Uh, every bus that we purchase under this contract will meet those emission standards. Um, they've also put out there for comment currently is additional uh, emission standards for 2014. That's going to address primarily greenhouse gas uh, and it also has a requirement of, of trying to address the CO2 and the greenhouse gases. They're going to have to increase the miles per gallon that the bus gets. So benefit, it's out there for comment. Um, our concern for this five-year contract is in 2014, we're not positive that a conventional diesel bus is going to be able to meet those emissions if they're enacted. So then we'd be looking at going to hybrid bus, um, possibly CNG, or some other alternative fuels. Um, we just don't know yet. Um, in the event that happens, we'll be back again talking to you, uh, you know, saying, well, we need more money. <laughs> okay, so that's the conclusion. Um, if you have any questions.